guys, I'm Shay, and if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not new to my channel, welcome back. And if you are new, pretty much what I do on my channel is I pretty much talk about anime from reviews to discussions and everything pretty much in between. So if you like my content or enjoy my content, please feel free to subscribe. And as you can tell by the title, I'm talking about anime documentaries. And the reason why I decided to talk about this topic a little bit is because I was looking back on a video that I did months back about the Into the Anime documentary that appeared on Netflix. And it's easy enough for me to say that I didn't exactly enjoy it. But one of the things that I noticed was I looked at one of the comments on my video and one of the comments actually had said that it seems like an anime documentary would do better as something in an episode form as opposed to something that's in like an hour and a half to a two hour movie. And I actually can't help but to agree. So it got me thinking, what is it that we as anime fans would want to see in an anime documentary? Because to be honest, a lot of the things that I've noticed in anime documentaries is that they tend to try and have a spin on it just a little bit. So for example, in the Netflix documentary, which is called Into the Anime, it basically had a young lady who wasn't really a fan of anime, but wanted to learn more. And to be honest, it was an entire shit show regarding that entire documentary. She went to Japan, she learned a little bit about the industry, but she kept coming back to the same conclusion. And the only animes I ever mentioned were ones that were currently airing on Netflix, which makes sense since Netflix was the one producing this documentary. Another documentary that I saw was called Anime Drawing a Revolution, which actually came out around 2007. And that one was a little bit better. It went into more about the history of anime, interviewed a lot of voice actors, and also talked about how anime has kind of changed or has inspired a lot of Hollywood movies. So I was wondering what would us as fans, once again, want to see in an anime documentary because I feel like there's a lot of stuff and that they have missed and a lot of stuff that they could honestly talk about. Now for me, I have topics that I kind of wish that they would discuss in a documentary. And once again, I feel like a documentary though can honestly be done from both the perspective of an anime fan and from someone who isn't an anime fan, but honestly wants to know more about the genre and also the industry without putting a spin on it or without making anime seem weird or making anime seem like it's this weird genre that no one's going to completely understand because to be honest, anime really isn't that complicated. But I have actually a list of topics on my phone that I thought would be kind of cool to have in an anime documentary. So one of them I thought of is a history of anime. Yes, I know it has been done before, but I feel like it can be something that still a lot of people may want to know, especially if the person watching it has never ever seen anime done before and has never really watched anime before it'd be kind of cool to know how did anime get started when did it come out what genres were out for anime around that time so on and so forth another one is a look at the different rules in the industry because so many of us know that anime comes from japan but then it gets sent to other different parts of the world. For example, the US, the UK, Australia, so on and so forth. And it'd be interesting to know what rules and regulations are in place in these countries because many of us have seen these differences in anime once it gets to our respective countries and everything from names being changed to jokes being changed. It would actually be kind of cool to know why these things happened, especially if that show is going to be airing on television because so many of us as fans don't entirely know what that process is like. And even though a lot of us may have our complaints, we may have our issues with it, it would be kind of cool for us to see why this happened so we have a better understanding of why this is taking place. Another thing would be controversies. We've seen so many controversies in anime regarding shows or regarding directors and producers, and it would be cool to actually have an episode pertaining to that. So like, for example, the Pokemon episode where Porygon pretty much appears and it caused a lot of seizures to happen to kids in Japan, and that episode was never released anywhere else around the world. 
or also the Sailor Moon debacle, which was pretty much how many of us may know, but Sailor Uranus and Sailor Neptune were actually lovers in the show, but in the US version, they were cousins because there was some issues regarding showing a lesbian couple on children's television at the time. Considering that this show came out in the 90s, I'm not completely surprised about this. But I think that would actually be kind of cool to actually see those controversies and kind of the impact they kind of had and the issues that it caused changing it and what it's like now with uh, what it's like now in the you know in 2020 and showing that on TV because a lot of things have changed. Another thing to talk about would be anime going mainstream because so many of us have realized that anime is no longer really the underground genre that it used to be. You have so many streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, and now you have so many anime companies with their own streaming services like Crunchyroll and as well as Funimation that it would be kind of cool to see that transition happen because I know so many of us knew that when we talked about anime so many people didn't know what we were talking about and actually even now a lot of people don't know what we're talking about but we can now readily available show it to people via Netflix and so many of these streaming companies are putting a lot of money into the genre because they realize it is such an untapped market and let's not even get started with Hollywood Studios because Hollywood Studios are basically banking on a lot of these anime series and making live actions out of them. For example, Detective Pikachu. And then now we hear Sony wanting to make a One Punch Man live action, a live action One Piece. And then of course you have the Death Note movie that's also on Netflix that is also once again live action. And then of course you have the atrocities that are Dragon Ball Evolution as well as Avatar The Last Airbender. But it would be kind of cool to see why this is happening, how it is happening, and why and how Hollywood studios are handling these properties that are so different from other properties that they've ever had to produce before. Another thing would be what was revolutionary about anime. And I mean like anime that went completely mainstream. For example, Pokemon and Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z was and still is everywhere and it is still a total cash cow for Funimation and so many people, even people that don't even know about anime, know who Goku is. So it would be cool to know how or why a certain anime became so mainstream. And also you can also bring it to Pokemon with this. Pokemon is still a big wig across the globe. I mean you have things like Pokemon Go and all the Pokemon games that people are still clamoring to buy. So it honestly shows that this would be a great anime to make Make an episode about and to talk about why this anime has been so successful in staying in a mainstream media compared to other anime that still stay in obscurity and never actually become the cash cows like Pokemon or Dragon Ball Z. You can also bring up into there like Naruto, Bleach, One Piece because they are basically seen on mainstream television. Another last thing I want to bring up is like looking at the anime industry regarding recording. So looking at the recording industry in Japan, looking at the recording industry in the US, in the UK, how does dubbing work? And also for example what the audition process is like. And I feel like that would be cool to show because so many of us don't really entirely understand what that process is like. We hear a lot about it from anime voice actors at conventions when people kind of ask them like how did you get started or what is the dubbing process like or even what the pay is like and I think it would be kind of cool for people to see what that audition process is like. I don't know if this is possible but I just think it would be kind of interesting to see from an industry to see what the industry is like when it comes to recording because there is a lot of secretive aspects to the anime industry that many of us as fans don't know about or don't get to see. And regarding the rest and regarding everything else regarding realities, it would be really cool to see how an anime goes from being in Japan to the US and what that's like. Like what are the negotiations like? What do they decide to keep in an anime and decide to take out? Why do they decide to make name changes? Why do some anime in the US not have the original music that came from Japan? 
it would be really cool to know why these certain changes happens, who's in charge of these actual changes, and what are the what are the implications of these changes happening? Because so many of us as fans have complained or griped about the music being different, or the names being changed, or a character being changed, or a place being changed, or so on and so forth. So it would be kind of cool to know why do these changes happen? Just some of the things that I've thought up if an anime documentary was ever going to be made, and I completely agree. Anime documentaries shouldn't be confined to a one and a half to two hour movie because there is so much to learn and so much to show and so much that even us as anime fans don't know about the industry and don't know about some of our favorite shows. And I feel like it would be really cool so to have that aspect for both people who don't know anything about anime and those who know or think they know everything about anime. And the problem is who would basically do this documentary? I feel like most documentaries that I've seen that are anime related, besides Enter the Anime as well as Anime Draw in Drawing a Revolution, most of these anime documentaries are focused on one anime, the making of one anime. So for example, they have anime documentaries about Suyo Gilby. They have anime documentaries talking about Little Witch Academia, but nothing about the entire industry as a whole and how the industry has changed or shaped over the years and how the industry is continuing to change. And I feel like that would be really cool to show. Now, I'm just a small YouTuber, and to be honest, I kind of would love to do this kind of a documentary. I don't know how I would do it, but I think it would be kind of cool because to be honest for me, these are questions that even I want answered, which is why I thought of this entire list, but it would be kind of cool or I think it would be cool for me to even find out these answers. Because once again, while I'm a fan, I don't know everything about the industry, but and I don't have access to a lot of the people that are in the industry, but I do have Google, so maybe I can try that way. But what do you guys think? I'm now passing this question on to you guys. What would you want to see in an anime documentary? What would you want to see in little episodes or snippets about the anime industry? What are the questions that you have? I honestly want to know. And I want to know would this be something you guys would be interested in watching? Because I know that anime documentaries are far and few between and the ones that we do have a lot of us seem to be very unhappy with because of the things that they miss or the spin that they put on it and the myths that are involved surrounding it and I feel like that the best way for an anime documentary to be shown or to be made doesn't mean it has to be done by an anime fan but I feel like it should be done by someone that has passion for anime and passion for the industry and just a passion to learn more about it without putting their own like prejudices surrounding this entire genre because there's a lot more to anime than people actually know and I think if someone's just willing to learn more about it and take it seriously that we would honestly end up with a really great product that people can enjoy whether they like anime or people that don't know anything about it but can learn more about the industry and learn more about these shows that we all know and love and understand that it's not all just for kids and anime is not all just porn. It has a deeper meaning to it and has affected a lot of Hollywood producers and a lot of Hollywood directors. So yeah, what would you guys think about that? That's pretty much the video that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, please comment below your thoughts about all this. Let me know what you guys think. Um, of course, like always, I always say, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And please feel free to share this video out if you think anyone else is going to enjoy this video. Of course, like always, I will have links down below to all my social media accounts, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my blog. So please check me out on there. And of course, like always, like I always tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy. And in today's day and age, stay healthy. All right, you guys.